the Holy Spirit just healed people and took pains. I want you checking for the pain right now. Move around, move around, move around, move around. Check for that pain right now in Jesus' name. Body, would you just lift your hands all over this place? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Come on, fourteen. Come on. You just had pain leave your body. What just happened? Shout out at me right now, right? Starting over here. What happened? Freedom in your arms. Come on, guys. Come out to their hands. Shout out at me. What happened? I heal. Your heal? He healed your heal? Come on. What else happened, guys? Testify. Pinch nerve, where at? In your leg, it's all gone. Gone! Y'all can all extend your hands to me for my voice to make it tonight. Who else? What is it? Sinus congestion, gone. Come on. stream start putting in the comments right now what pain left people get delivered and healed on the live streams thank you jesus for that who else arthritis arthritis pain is gone God's healing hearts too, isn't he? Yeah. Amen. Come on. That's right. We don't have to feel ashamed or guilty. There's no condemnation. God forgives us of our sins and he wants us to be free. Amen. Who else have pain leave your bodies? Another heal? Come on. Give the Lord some praise. Does it hurt now? It's all gone. Amen. Knee pain was just healed online. Come on, guys. I'm gonna try not to yell at my voice rest till I get later so I can yell the demons out of people. Okay. What happened? Your lungs? Other hands that were raised. We missed you. Where else? Where else? Shout at me. Heaviness from guilt. Come on. Guilt gone. That's right. Kick them all out, Lord. Amen. Amen. You back here. I was here last night and the Lord totally healed my back. I had intense pain for about a week and a half. I saw you. Intense back pain. Come on. Come on. 
Instructor for the last six years? No, no. Sorry. Shoulder pain for the last six months. You thought it was torn. Yeah. And so last night I was 
Right, I had you put your hands to pray over it, yes. So I did that, and this morning I had a class, um, and when I was thinking about it later, it didn't even think it dawned on me until, like, right now there was no pain. And you went through a fitness class and had no pain in your shoulder. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Anyone else? You just got healed. See, it's contagious. This is what happens. Don't think it's done. It's not done. You better keep checking. is lifting as God began to reveal things to her like memories and things that needed to be healed because sometimes physical pain is connected to trauma and as our trauma leaves us and our heart is healed the pains leave our body oh you guys are all quitting on me why are we sitting down I didn't say take your seats Christ is not dismissed what are we doing God is healing people stand up I'm just kidding you can do what you want okay who else wants to testify I'm just joking with y'all. Who else wants to testify? You just have pain leave. Oh, I should say you guys. I'm sorry. I'm joking with you guys, not y'all. We don't say y'all here. That's foreign language. We also don't say turnip greens. Amen. Okay, who else had pain leave? Anyone else? Go on once. Okay, back here. Okay, you felt agony in your spirit and God lifted that. Now you have his peace. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone else want to testify? You had pain leave. You had pain leave? What happened? Your head was hurting in the car, but now it's not. Amen. All right. What was it? Stuttering? stuttering? God took your stuttering away. He just said he had stuttered for his whole life and now it's gone. That's my buddy. He's going to preach the gospel. Watch out for him. That's the dark horse youth right there. Come on. And this girl, too. She's going to dance for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Who else had pain leave? I mean, it's always contagious. So I just think there's going to be more. Might need to check again. See if your pain left. See? It's spreading. Wow. Anyone else want to testify? Just lift your hand. Your pain's gone. Check for it again. I've been having some problems with my hand. Arthritic or something. I don't know what to call it. Arthritic pain in your but, hands? Yeah, I've always had times and uh, no pain at all. You don't feel any pain now? Not at all. Come on. Okay. I didn't know the, how the Lord was going to outdo himself last, from last night, but I think he's doing a good job. He usually does, doesn't he? Anyone else? You just have pain leave. You just checked. The pain is gone. Over here. Last night said I don't want to be drug addicted I don't want to be 
abused in my life. And God, the power of the Holy Ghost came on her, ripped all those demons out of her. She went on. the Holy Ghost. Yes. You should get to meet him. Amen. If you have it. Amen. Anyone else just have pain and leave? You checked again and the pain has lifted. Over here? What just happened, young man? You fell down the stairs today. Your back was hurting and now it's gone. Are you checking again? Right over here. Sinus congestion is leaving. Sinus congestion is leaving. Thank you, Lord. She's my dark horse youth deliverer. She's going to cast demons out of young people. Watch and see. You don't think God can use kids? Oh, he loves to confound the wisdom of this world. By using the foolishness of preaching. He will use the uneducated to move in power because they realize they don't know it all. Amen. Amen. That's the best way you can be, friends. Just get dumb for Jesus. Amen. Let's all get stupid for Jesus in here. So he can actually do something with us. Amen. Anyone else your pain just left? I can see you guys are transitioning to the next part of the service. Is this the part where I have to preach? Is that what we're doing? Any other pain leave? Okay, right here. Right now, there's some focus on my tooth. Your back does not hurt. From jumping out of a window. I won't ask about that story. I'll save that one for later. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And give her, Lord, throw in the tooth. Throw it in, Lord. Give her an extra freebie. Thank you. Yes, pain left back here. What happened? is happening. 
Wow. Yeah, y'all back up out of your seat now. <laughs> see how the Holy Ghost just played a joke on y'all? You just see what he just did there. He's like, oh, they're all sitting down. Watch this. I'll get another seat. That's what he just did. Come on. Go ahead. You just go ahead, honey. We're fine with that. She might need to come get this sword in a minute. And because the devil tried to sever her nerve, he, she's going to sever the devil's nerves. That's what's going to happen. She's going to cut every devil. Amen. She didn't even have the ligament. She should not physically be able to move her hand right now. Oh, I can't wait for her to go by the doctor and show them. I need a follow-up testimony. A follow-up testimony on her in the doctor's report. I need a follow-up, Denise. I need a follow-up testimony of doctor's x-rays and reports in writing of what happened to her hand. Because the unbelievers won't believe unless they see and then even if you show it to them they'll tell you you photoshopped it that's what they'll do I give up on those people I'm like y'all go ahead over there we'll be over here getting free getting healed getting demons out come on loving our Jesus well I mean what's next Holy Ghost what happened And they fight and and we're and I have stood a lot today and I don't feel any pain in my back. You don't feel any pain in your back. And pain in your leg. How long has that been there? Years. And it, it because it's crooked and it, it makes pain in my back and it hasn't happened to time. And I've stood a lot longer. A lot longer than I ever stood. Plus I stood this afternoon. Plus I stood to eat. And God's doing something. trauma to leave your body yeah. that's attached to those things. Right now in Jesus' name. You should really see the winning on you down. For every person here that was under trauma from accidents, any kind of accidents that you've been in right now, if you've been in an accident, will you just stand up if you've been in a car accident? Was that from an accident? Arthritic things, yeah. But you've been in a car accident too, which could have maybe instigated it through trauma. I think that's why the Holy Spirit is telling me this right now. He wants to heal trauma. If you've been in an accident, just stand up. If you're just praising and standing, that's fine. You don't have to sit down, please. It's free in here. So just right now, Holy Spirit, I thank you, God, for releasing people from trauma. We just command all that trauma to come out of your body from the accident now. Every place in your body where the cellular memory for trauma and pain was impacted in you, we command that trauma to leave right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All the way out of these bodies now, from their head to the soles of their feet, every place of trauma, go now. In Jesus' name, leave. 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 Everyone else worship it. Everyone else worship it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for what you're doing right now. I are lifting the heavens. I know we are lifting the heavens. May we lift you the Thank you, Jesus, for touching us. Thank you, Jesus, for touching us. Every trauma, every burden, go. Every 
to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Just lift your hand. If you've never been filled with the Holy Spirit, just lift your hand. You need to be filled with Him right now. You've never received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'm not talking about a fresh dose of the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues. God wants to fill you right now. If that's you, stand up. If you're already standing, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Just do what you guys want. But you need to, you need to stand up to receive. I don't know. There's something about standing up to receive. I don't know. There's just something about it. So just stand up right now. Open your heart. Open yourself to Him now. You are going to receive it. No questions, no doubt. You ready? Say, Father, in Jesus' name, I want the gift of the Holy Spirit that Jesus paid the price for. I want to know Him. I want my prayer language. I want to be set free. And I need the Holy Ghost for that. So Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to baptize me now. In Jesus' name. All right, here it comes. Receive it. Lift your face. The fire of God is coming all in you now. The Spirit of God is filling your belly. And you're going to feel the fire in there. And I want you to let that fire just pour on you. And you begin to yield yourself to that fire. And you open your mouth and begin to pray the Holy Ghost. You open your mouth and you begin to speak in tongues. Right now, all over this place, everybody pray the Holy Ghost. Just begin to join us. Receive your prayer language now in Jesus' name. Jezebel that has put these people under religious control and abuse I break that off of you now 
I detach you from the spirit of control. I detach you from the works of Jezebel. Detach you from the work of the enemy now. I detach you from lying spirits. I detach you from witchcraft. Every demonic stronghold. I break it now. I command it to lift. 